Gym workout versus street workout. Well, how about fusing both together? That's right, for an entire month, all I trained was weighted calisthenics. And the transformation to my body was pretty darn incredible. This is what happened. But you gotta focus. Week one, starting this journey out with 15 added pounds in the form of a weighted plate vest. And just like regular calisthenics with weighted calisthenics, you have a lot more freedom to train in various locations. To get a gauge where I was at, I wanted to start my first day of weighted calisthenics with a basic full body workout. And what better to do than day one of Bodyweight Beast 2.0? Use code FOCUS for now 25% off through the end of August 2023. But for real, it was the perfect basic full body workout to get a feel of where I was at and what adjustments I might need to make this first week. Something I was aiming to focus on throughout pushing movements was full shoulder and scapula protraction at the top of my push-ups. Really challenging the serratus, strength developed here significantly plays over into other more advanced calisthenics movements, and shamefully, this was often something I would slack on in the past. But not this month, baby. I was determined to put on extra strength in my weak spots, give it everything I got, and make serious progress. While very challenging, everything was going pretty smooth, that is, until the lower body movements. I wanted to train plyometrics to really work on my vertical jump, but even with this plated weight vest fully tightened, it was bouncing all over the place. Regardless, I powered through, finished the workout, and dang, I was quite exhausted. Pro tip for wilderness training. Oh, I gotta check myself for bugs. Always check yourself for ticks. Later that week, changing up the exercises and angles, wearing a sweater for extra padding around the shoulders, but quickly getting very hot, so I took it off. Oh, and upping the amount of sets. With every movement so far basically being a compound movement, yes, with only 15 added pounds, all of the reps and sets were really adding up. But I was determined to fight through it and give it my best, to beat myself down but then hopefully recover and make that progress. However, I was also still struggling with the same problem from the first day. The weight vest just not being tight enough or malleable enough. As cool as this weight vest looks, it's really not that tight. And for instance, I was cooling down with a five minute jump rope sesh in replace of like a five minute jog. And literally with every jump, this thing is just like coming back down. It's like I'm just asking for a backache. Still kind of a little bit, but way better than the plate carrier where it's like you jump and then it hang times and it comes down and it's all like, Ugh! let's test it out. Starting off week two, hopefully finding a solution to the rigid plate carrier. A new weight vest I got on Amazon, this one weighing 20 pounds, made of neoprene and filled with some kind of sand-like material for the weights. Anyway, starting week two with plyometrics at the park. Just working on basic box jumps and then jumping split lunges, but with multiple sets. With this more conforming vest, able to focus my mind on the power of each jump, rather than the nagging pain and ripping sensation around the shoulders. I felt like I was onto something with these movements. Oh. Oh. I might be onto something. Sticking to the explosive theme for the beginning of week two, I tried to complete my entire upper body weighted calisthenics workout with explosive movements only. However, I was quickly humbled. Trying to be quick on every compound movement, the added 20 pounds for me was quickly fatiguing. And a lot of my exercises went from being slightly explosive to just normal reps. I think if I wasn't doing this challenge, it would have been better for me to take the weight vest off and just train these explosive upper body movements with my body weight only. But because this is a challenge, I powered through the best I could. Oh, and holding some statics at the end to round things out was also very difficult. The second half of week two, fatigued from all the explosive movements, switching to some extra deep range of motion exercises like these pike push-ups through these parallel bars really 
hitting the shoulders, and then even working on some regular push-ups through the parallel bars, focusing on the movement, the range, and the squeeze. In my opinion, this rivals even beats some of the best weight training exercises when it comes to the stretch, contraction, and mind-muscle connection, specifically for the chest and shoulders. If you have the mobility and haven't already tried this, I highly recommend these exercises. Finishing up with some statics for core, and then just the simple decline pull-up, which I really found simply effective for targeting the back after five sets, leaving me with one of the craziest thick back pumps. The next day for some extra range of motion for the lower body, working on my knees over toes lunges to help with ankle flexibility as well as challenge and fortify multiple joint structures in the lower legs. Then trying to work on some depth jumps, which is where you jump right out of the bottom of a box jump. However, with the added 20 pound weight vest, it was a little sketchy, so I kind of went back to stepping back off of the box, or in this case, the ledge. With the new weight vest, the five minute jump rope session I had at the end of this leg day was so much better. I was able to focus on exploding off the ground through the calves with each jump, challenging but what felt like very effective. Now at the halfway mark, feeling ambitious, in the beginning of week three, I decided to bump up the weight, makeshifting this little attachment for my weight vest, starting at first with an additional 15 pounds to the weight vest, and then working all the way up to 25 additional pounds. I was able to complete essentially a 5x5, five five, with the last rep requiring extreme exertion. The theme for this week was going to be pure strength. The same thing goes for the pull-ups, but this was even harder. Trying to do a five by five, I was only able to crank out three reps for my final two sets, indicating to me this is something I really want to work on getting stronger at. And then back to chest, adding additional weight to what I just found out to be one of the best chest exercises, at least in my opinion. I don't know, it's just something about that added weight through the extra deep push-up range of motion that seems to target the chest, shoulders, serratus, triceps, etc. so superiorly. And then rounding this out with just the weight vest doing some decline pull-ups. With all of these weighted compound calisthenics movements, I was totally fried. During this strength split for my leg day, I decided to do a combination of explosive movements as well as unilateral movements to essentially double the difficulty on the legs. But I was becoming so cumulatively fatigued that when attempting pistol squats, I couldn't seem to push myself back up so I did them eccentric only. The accumulation of all of these compound movements was finally catching up to me. After trying my best to finish this workout off with some box jumps, I realized I probably needed to take some extra rest days if I wanted to see some future improvements from this experiment. So that I did. So I just took four days off and it was highly needed. My body was completely trashed, but I feel absolutely energized, ready to go right now. And with that being said, I have a little surprise. Oh. a 40 pound weight vest. So obviously this just came in the mail. I purchased it because it had some good reviews for how it fits. However, this one does use these like sand weights that you insert, so I guess it's customizable, but you have to insert them, which was kind of annoying. And then when I was inserting them, I actually like ripped it a little bit, which was like, what the heck, why did that rip? Hopefully it holds up through all the exercise I put this through. But without further ado, let's do the real test and start week four, hitting up the calisthenics park, let's go. My goals for week four, double the weight vest weight and experiment with a mix of movements, progressing from the previous weeks. Push-ups and push-ups with extra range of motion on the rings with the added weight from the 40 pound weight vest felt extremely good and I was able to crank out a solid full range of motion eight to 12 reps. However, pull-ups with the 40 extra pounds, I struggled quite a bit, but I managed to get about five reps for about five sets. I was planning to spend this first day of week four as a full body workout, but after all of these simple yet very demanding compound exercises for the upper body, my central nervous system felt fried. So I thought it would be optimal to save the lower body exercises for the next day. Oh. I was thinking because I took four days off, I would tackle today as a full body workout day, but halfway through the upper body, I realized probably wouldn't be the most efficient or optimal to train lower body today because every single movement was just like full on CNS exertion. 
Wow, I am fatigued. Hopefully we feel good enough tomorrow to do some lower body with this because that extra weight is definitely gonna be great for the lower body, I can tell. The next day, a combination of basics, mobility, and trying to be as explosive as possible on certain movements. And from my experience, doing this when focused, leg days with the added weight from the weight vest were no joke. And I was really hoping that all of these plyometric-like movements with the additional resistance worn on the body would play over into significantly increasing my vertical after only these 30 days. Would that be the case? We'll find out shortly. All of the jumping and supporting the vest, I feel like, is secondarily working the traps very well. Like, my traps feel very fatigued. Putting the ego aside today, like my legs, my arms, even though I took 40 hours off, are just still like, bleh. So I'm gonna go to the 20 pounder today and fill in the blanks in the gym. The final day of this one month journey, I decided to strap on the lighter weight vest to somewhat taper down, but also fill in the blank with exercises I felt like I neglected and or wanted to experiment more with. For instance, these bodyweight bicep curls. They took a little bit more focus to target specifically just the bicep, but when done right, I felt like they were very effective. Messing around with other classic exercises, as well as just a plethora of plyometrics. This day was pretty unorganized and driven mostly on just feel, soul, and motivation, knowing that it would be the last day on this 30-day journey doing only weighted calisthenics. So did I get some extraordinary results? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might be surprised. After 30 days of only weighted calisthenics looking at the before and after visuals, it appears to me that my muscles might look a little harder and denser in the afters. This could just be a nutrition thing for I was one pound down from the beginning of this experiment. Also I noticed it looked like I was posing differently and I couldn't seem to get my posing to line up the same as before this experiment, but could that be because I was used to activating different muscles or different muscle groups in different ratios? Ready to get that chest pump because the real deal is the performance test. That's what I'm personally curious to see, so let's do it. Right out of the gate, my push-ups felt so much faster and stronger. I also felt like I had so much more pushing endurance. In my opinion, it is greatly clear to see the massive improvement in pushing power endurance and springiness, especially with the first 25, comparing the before and after. And then sailing my after push-ups all the way to 68 in two minutes for what I believe is actually a personal best. Similar improvements with my pull-ups, so many more confident reps, feeling way stronger after the first 10. Also, my grip on the pull-up bar felt way stronger as well. Now for the vertical jump test, going to the gym immediately after doing the push-up and pull-up test, I felt like the rim touch test was very springy, and I did feel like I was floating more than I have noticed before. However, when I look at my best before vertical jump rim grab, it seems like I'm able to get more rim. But then looking at these two side by side, it appears to me that I might be jumping further back and traveling more horizontal in the after. So it might just be a technique specific thing, but I do feel like my vertical jump was way more explosive. And keep in mind, this is all on the same day. The vertical jump from before was the best from many weeks. So I am excited to see if in the next few sessions, my vertical jump is spontaneously even better. All in all, I had a great time doing this one month experiment. It was pretty awesome to just grab the weight vest and just go getting a great session making cohesive, full body, strength and connection improvements that I know are going to play over athletically into the goals I want to achieve. I will definitely continue to take advantage of this style of training in the future. If you are interested, you can now get 25% off Bodyweight Beast 2.0, hard copies and or digital downloads on OnlyKindsFitness.com. Just use code FOCUS at the checkout. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspiring. Stay tuned, more content coming out. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.